we're finally standing up to Negan. You know, we're, we're finally saying enough is enough. You know, you can, you can push us down for only so long before we feel like, you know, uh, this isn't freedom. You know, and once uh, once it, it doesn't feel like freedom, you might as well, uh, they say, uh, what, give, give me freedom or give me death? So here we go. There's some stuff coming that, that I was absolutely just stunned by. I'm sitting there watching the blood spray. You know, it's going to get nuts. You can expect to see uh, Jesus making some tough decisions, some moral decisions on what the best way is to move forward in certain situations. And you can expect to see some of his ninja skills. It's going to be all of our other seasons, but on steroids. I mean, we are talking pedal to the metal and uh, they won't be able to catch their breath. I, can, I think you can expect Father Gabriel to be doing more to prove that he is of worth and that he belongs and that he is someone that can be relied upon. With each year, the show has tried to top itself and I think it's done a fantastic job in doing that. There is really no ceiling. It's a love bomb that we're sending to the world this season. Rick Grimes is sending a love bomb. That's what season eight is. We got a new weapon coming in play this season. I mean, you know, not for not for Negan. Negan's a Negan's a Batman. I keep thinking he needs like a tiger or a gun, one of those two things. So we'll see if we can work something out. A lot of feistiness. It gets pretty intense for Maggie this year. She definitely takes no prisoners. He's got a lot of important decisions to make, um, and he's kind of acting out of the hate for Negan and the love for his wife. I think I think uh, Aaron is is finally uh, dropped the diplomacy um, that he once had that he once uh, you know held to so strongly. I think that in this in this world with the saviors with Negan, you know, diplomacy just doesn't work. They can expect a lot of explosions, a lot of surprises, um, definitely a lot of action, and uh, they can expect to find out a little more about what Jadis is about. It is exactly set up as all-out war, and I think after season seven and what was set up this year, it's on. It's on. There's so much story left to tell, and like I, I really feel like every single character on this show should, could have a spinoff. You know what I mean? So we could go on forever, to be honest. Yeah, it's crazy. I'll be like 95. Like yeah. uh, you can expect all that war. You can expect all that action. There's a lot coming up in these next these next uh, first couple of episodes too after after this premiere I can't say anything it's so difficult everything you can imagine and then nothing you can imagine because everything will be beyond what you can imagine so you know you know it's always it's always mixed up you know you never know where what you're gonna get we mix it up just right for y'all but yeah I mean it's been an amazing episode season to be a part of it's been it's been um, every episode has just a, a gasp in it, something in it that we couldn't have anticipated. You know, it's just really thrilling. I feel like the fans are going to be upset because it goes by too quick. It's so fast-paced, action-packed, and but but they're going to be satisfied at the same time and excited for when we come back in the spring too. Like we, we're doing so much and we're trying to tackle so much more than we've ever done on the show before. That's that's what I'm most excited about.